morning, everyone. Good morning. The Lord wants us to get out of our comfort zone, and I am definitely out of my comfort zone right now. I did not grow up in a Christian home. Um, children's books about Jesus and God was part of my life growing up, but he was more of just a hero back in the day. I was exposed to different religions, but mostly Christianity and Judaism. In fact, I did go to Hebrew school for, for a short while. Um, my favorite aunt, who in New York I spent a lot of time with, she's a Jehovah's Witness, and I spent a lot of time with them going door to door and going to the services at Kingdom Hall. I was getting a lot of exposure to God, but I wasn't connecting with them at all. Um, all the six, um, <clears throat> when I look back now, I can see that I spent many, many years looking for something, but I didn't know what it was, but I knew that something specific was missing. I filled that something with all the wrong things and dealt with all the wrong people and went down a very life-threatening path that I know had I continued, I would not be here today. I didn't get my life to Christ until I was 26 years old, and it was a significant day because it was December 8th, 1997. That was my birthday, and that was the day that I found out that I was pregnant. My mother introduced me to Forsey, and I would go with her sometimes on Sunday, and she eventually she introduced me to John Itzel. And he invited me to play the flute, and this was at the beginning, this was at the time I was pregnant. And I'll admit that I did get some folks shaking their head in a negative way that I was a single mom um, serving, but I was flooded with so many people that showed me Christ's love that it really solidified my reason for giving my life to him. Over the 15 plus years that I've grown so much at Forsey, and I still am. I've developed wonderful friendships, I serve, I disciple, and I love it. But to be honest, for some time, I've become very complacent in all that I'm doing. Um, I've been just going through the motions, serving the Lord, and I'll admit that I've kind of become content with it. I was ignoring him talking to me, and he talks a lot to me, <laughs> but he is persistent through sermons and conversations with people songs on the radio or during worship or verses in the Bible, he was calling me back. But it wasn't until last week when I was listening to the baptisms and the testimonies in both services when I decided um, <clears throat> that now's the time. So much of what was said um, was things that was what, what I would say. So many of the ex excuses that people talked about that they put in front of themselves, they were the same excuses I was putting in front of myself. So I decided last Sunday, right at the end of service, that I wanted to rededicate my life to Christ and to be properly baptized. And if you ask me later, I can tell you about my other baptism that really wasn't a baptism. <laughs> but I wanted to rededicate my life so that I don't want to be complacent anymore. I want to serve the Lord with a joyful heart, and I want to give myself all to Him. Jesus died on the cross for your sins, that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you, so I am so proud and so happy to just publicly uh, be with you as you make that testimony public for everyone, that you are a follower of Jesus. You are his. In the name of Jesus, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. There have been many times in my life in which I knew God was watching over me. I witnessed the daily miracles as God kept me safe. Only by the grace of God I stand before you today. Even though I was a witness, I never took the next step and received the wonderful gift available to us all. Not until hearing the sermon a couple weeks ago, why not you, why not today, did I search my soul to find the answer to those questions. I could not come up with any answer that made sense. Therefore, I decided that today is the day I accept Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. Michael, you affirm that you believe that Jesus 
died on the cross for your sins, was buried and rose the third day. Yes. And I'm so happy to be a part of, be with you on this day as you publicly declare to everyone that you belong to him. I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.